Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've actually stopped off at somewhere that for years I've wanted to come and visit. It's been somewhere that I have passed by on so many occasions when I've been driving through the area, going to other places, heading to events and I'm actually going to an event this weekend and I knew that I was going to be passing uh, this place on my way up so I thought I had to stop. I've got some time to spare and I really need to see this place. So where I've actually come to visit is called St Conan's Kirk and I always remember uh, driving by here for the first time with one of my best friends and we just saw the name Conan and we were like that oh, we've got to stop there at some point. So it's uh, a church that's right on the shores of Loch Awe in Argyll and it's a stunning place. I've seen photos of it and it looks so beautiful. So I'm going to be going in and having a right good wander and I'll get a right good look around the place. Uh, before I do that, if you are enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment comment in the comment section. So with that out the road, I'm going to grab my bag, head on out and go for a wander around St Conan's Kirk. So it is just right on the main road, uh, the village of Loch Awe, the hamlet of Loch Awe, is just down that direction. You can probably just make it the waters of Loch Awe, just beyond the trees. And they've got this glorious war memorial. Right, young, obviously depicting a young man from one of the Highland regiments. The road continues up that way. The Kirk's just over there. I do have a wee tea room in one of the outbuildings. There's, it's surrounded by all these lovely gardens. And that's the Kirk itself. And it does look over the loch. It's the entrance to the Kirk here itself. Even just this little cloister is stunning. Stunning.
Yeah, it's like something like a fairy tale. I don't know why this place isn't as famous as Roslyn. So to have all this information up about all the restoration work that's been carried out on the, the Kirk itself, I don't think I'm going to be able to show you all the information because that probably take quite a bit of time. But these are a couple of plans that show you the actual layout of the Kirk itself. Got that one and that one. So that's the, the cloister there, that's where I came in. So that's the two of side chapels. That's the wee bit that came into, that's the main body of the Kirk itself there. The nice really rounded bit there. What is this bit here? This is how close the church is to the loch. Yeah, just came across this. It's an early site chapel. So this one's called Bruce Chapel. And the burial in front of me is supposed to hold some of the fragments of Bruce's skeleton. This is why this is here. We actually had two battles at the Branda Pass. The first one is a defeat against Bruce and Douglas. The second one, Bruce and Douglas won. And this is the entrance to the crypt. The crypt's not open just now because they're doing that again. They're doing a lot of restoration work. And the two ships on the gate are both gallo glass ships. And the gallo glass were a group of people that essentially came from both Argyle and Ulster. And another stunning window. Well, that's me back at the car from a little visit to St. Conan's Kirk. And I would say definitely some of it I really love visiting. It's if, okay, that was the first time actually going into the Kirk itself and it is stunning. It's some of it is, as I was saying at the start of the video, that I've wanted to visit for years and I've always had it. I just didn't have the time, kept having to put it off. But I just went and I came and I have to I have to go and visit this, visit it this time. And I'm really glad that I did. So I would recommend it if you are up in the Argyle area, if you're heading up towards Oban and you're passing through the, the Brander Pass, definitely stop and visit St. Conan's Kirk. And leave them some pennies, kind of donate to their, their re restoration fund. In all honesty, I don't know why that why St. Conan's Kirk isn't as famous as somewhere like uh, Oslin Chapel, because that place is stunning. And the fact it also has connections to Robert the Bruce. And yeah, so it's so much history, gorgeous little building, and it's hidden away in Argyll. Definitely worth a visit. So if, again, to repeat, to repeat myself, if you're in Argyll, heading up towards Oban, definitely stop at St Conan's Kirk. So hopefully you will have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll be intrigued by St Conan's and you, you will come up and visit. So I'll see you, I'll sign off just now before I really start to blather on. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.